What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to tell you why you should get a fox face rabbit fish by sharing with you my experiences of the one spot fox face. Now, if this is your first time here and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. Keeping algae at bay in a reef tank can be a bit of an uphill battle, to say the least. And while prevention is the most important thing to get right, often the quickest and easiest fix is to get an algae eating fish. Tangs are of course the most popular algae eaters, but they often become aggressive as they mature and it's common for an established tang to give any new fish you buy a bit of a Glasgow welcome, particularly if the new fish has a similar laterally compressed body shape. They also tend to require bigger tanks, now I'm generally in favour of adding a small tank to smaller tanks so long as you plan to move them on in time, but they can get very cranky indeed in small tanks. And if they do get violent it is genuinely horrific to watch. So today I'm going to make the case that a fox face is a better choice. I got this one spot fox face two years ago, roughly three weeks after I set up my current tank. And I know for a fact that I would have algae all over the place if it weren't for him. And I know that for two reasons. Firstly, algae grows readily in places that he can't reach, such as the back of my algae magnet that I expose to give him the occasional treat, and in the frag tank I have in my sump. Within a few days of moving a coral from my display tank to my frag tank, algae starts to grow on any dead part of the coral skeleton. And secondly, I have 500 watts of light over my tank and my phosphate level currently sits at 0.6. And yes, I do mean 0.6 and not 0.06. And that is of course a recipe for algae outbreaks, but not with Sergeant Foxface on hand. Before I move on, I should say that my phosphate level is causing some of my SPS corals to lose colour and even tissue. It's worth pointing that out in case you're thinking that you shouldn't be worried about high phosphate because the reef dork's tank is doing okay. Back to the fox though, and an algae addiction isn't the only reason you should get one. As long as you don't keep them with other rabbit fish, they're generally completely peaceful, so you won't have to worry about adding new fish after you get a fox. They're also much less fussy about swimming space, in particular the one spot fox face. Most places you look online recommend a minimum tank size of just 70 US gallons or 265 litres. Make no mistake, they can get big and you will often see full 8 inch specimens in your local fish shop, but most will take years to get anywhere near that size and even then they don't need as much swimming space as tangs. Mine is still fairly small and I have no plans to move him on from my 4x2x2. And finally, they are generally reef safe. Now this does come with a slight caveat, as they can go rogue, but you can minimise that risk by regularly adding nori seaweed for your fox face to eat. And I would say the fox face is highly likely to give you years of good behaviour. Now they will sometimes eat algae off your corals, so look very closely before you conclude they're eating your prized possessions. By reputation though, there is still a risk to corals, particularly LPS and zoas, so you should be prepared to catch your fox face and return them to your local fish shop if they turn. All I'm saying is that, in my opinion, the risk to corals is very low and shouldn't put you off. And even if they do turn, you will not find an easier fish to catch. Without fail, mine always inspects my fish trap for algae within seconds of me putting it in the tank. They're also a favourite of coral farms and fish shops alike, and there is no better endorsement than that of a business whose existence depends partly on its ability to keep algae at bay. Next time you're in your local fish shop, have a look in their coral trays and see if they don't have a fox face in there. So what I'm really saying is, before you find Dory, check out the foxiest algae eater in the hobby. 